GTA 6 could arrive earlier than expected, the Hitman trilogy is coming to Game Pass, and more. According to reports, Grand Theft Auto 6 is in development and might have a Fortnite-style evolving map, but when might the long-awaited game be released? According to one analyst's prediction, the next entry in Rockstar's popular series might be in the works for 2023 or 2024. Take Two, which owns Rockstar, said in its Zynga acquisition announcement this week that it would have a compound annual growth rate of 14% through 2024. An analyst at the research company Jeffries told Axios there are only a handful of titles that have the power to give Take Two confidence it could reach that, and one is believed to be a Rockstar game. Doug Kreutz of Cohen and Company said this points to a likely GTA 6 launch in the fiscal year of 24. Take Two's fiscal year 24 runs from April 1st, 2023 through March 31st, 2024, so the suggestion is that GTA 6 would be released sometime in that period. Other reports have suggested GTA 6 might not be released until 2025. In 2021, Kotaku reported that Rockstar Games had begun work on its next game, a new entry in the GTA series. However, Rockstar Games has not confirmed this. For more on GTA 6, check out our roundup of all the big rumors on GameSpot.com. The Hitman trilogy, which includes three games in the World of Assassination series, will come to Xbox Game Pass on January 20th, IO Interactive announced today as part of the company's Year 2 reveal. We're excited to welcome a wave of new players to enjoy the full trilogy through new platforms and services, IO said in a post. Now that the trilogy is complete, we're excited to unveil Hitman Trilogy as a way for new players to get started in the world of assassination. This collection brings together Hitman, Hitman 2, and Hitman 3 into a single package, making it easier than ever to take your first steps to becoming Agent 47, the developer said. The Hitman Trilogy was revealed as a part of IO's wide announcements about the future of Hitman 3 as it enters its second year. The studio has big plans to support the game with technical improvements, Hitman VR on PC, which looks surprisingly action-oriented, and a new single-player mode called Hitman and Freelancer, which introduces roguelike elements, strategic planning, and a customizable safe house. And this is just to name a few of the new additions. It's not unusual for manufacturing on consoles to cease after a new generation of hardware arrives, but for the Xbox One, its end came much sooner. Microsoft discontinued production on the Xbox One S and Xbox One X just before the launch of the Xbox Series X and S consoles, allowing for retailers to finish selling any remaining stock from the last-gen devices. Senior Director of Xbox Console Product Marketing Cindy Walker confirmed to The Verge that to focus on production of Xbox Series X and S, we stopped production for all Xbox One consoles by the end of 2020. In comparison to Microsoft, Nintendo only discontinued its 3DS console manufacturing three years after the Switch launched, while Sony still plans to produce around a million PS4 consoles in 2022. While both console companies face a supply and demand challenge due to an ongoing shortage of vital chips for their machines, Microsoft is confident that it can at least meet demand for its Xbox Series S consoles, the $300 alternative for users who aren't ready to go full current gen just yet. That console's more affordable price point and modest internal hardware has made it a more viable option when compared to older and similarly priced Xbox One consoles, especially when its SSD storage is taken into consideration. And speaking of things being discontinued, let's all say a small prayer for the Halo 3 servers which have gone down on the Xbox 360, truly marking the end of an era. What are your favorite Halo 3 memories? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And of course, leave a like, subscribe, and tune in tomorrow for your next episode of GameSpot News. We'll catch you next time.